Hello, YouTube. Uh, I'm out of breath. It's Queen Noah again. <clears throat> Don't know why this is here. <laughs> I swear to God, like, every time I come out to my living room, there's always something I shouldn't really be in the living room. But, okay. So, um, today I wanted to do questions and answers because a lot of people message me asking a whole bunch of questions. So, and, uh, sorry, that was just in my way, really. So I wanted to answer the questions and, um, kind of just, you know, I'm trying to fix, <laughs> fix my viewing. It's crazy. Okay, so question number one, the good asshole. My tooth here. Right here. Everybody asks, are you going to get it fixed? Um, you look so much pretty if you got it fixed and things like that. And here's the thing. Um, I'm just natural. You know, I believe in our naturality. I'm like, I'm in love with myself. So uh, I always think that, you know, we're made beautiful, but how, whoever. Not giving me religious, just saying whoever. Um, everybody has their own thing. I just like to be how I'm made to be, and I'm very happy and very secure in myself, and that little flaw is what makes me different from other people, so I like it a lot. Um, also, somebody asked me if fat girls never drink anything healthy. That is a big lie, huge lie. I love fruit juices. I love fruit smoothie. I like water. I like flavored water. <laughs> but I drink olive water. I drink juices. Um, today, right now, I'm drinking soda. But it doesn't mean that I don't drink healthy stuff. I even like fruits and vegetables, which is really weird. A lot of people don't like that, but it's what I like. You know what I mean? Take me as I am. Um, also, people ask me, do I have a problem shopping? Of course I do. Um, everybody knows if you follow me in Phoebes or Twitter, um, I don't buy clothes a lot. But when I do, because they're expensive for my size, um, I'm a 6X in the bottom. Well, almost 6X, but I like it because it gives me a little bit of wiggly room. So 6X in the bottom, and I'm a 5X on the top. Um, for my these momos, I usually get the 5X extra large, and then I just stretch them a lot. This one is actually old. As you can see, it's kind of tartered, but it's my favorite. I love it. It's really good. <clears throat> but yeah, I get my clothes at various sites. Um, everybody says go to Amazon, but I've been having so much problem with Amazon. I ordered before... A shirt I thought was going to be amazing. I was like, oh my god, this shirt's going to look really nice. It's long sleeves, but it has the cool fabric. And it was orange, so I was like, oh, it's going to be really good for Halloween. And then when I got it, because it said it was going to be 5X, this is how small the shirt is. And if you can see, my boobs don't even cover it. And this was supposed to be an American um, 5X. So, as you tell, um, it's not even, I don't know, I don't even know if this is considered small. So, again, like I said, if stuff like that, I will end up having to give away to, like, my niece or somebody else or whoever is small enough to wear it or want it. Um, but, yeah, usually I, um... I get, I get a whole bunch of them, too. This really sucks because I have, like, three or four shirts here. And they really, it's really disappointing when you get them and they're so small. I found this, like, really old vintage shirt that I wanted. You see the size again? You see the size? Onto me, again, it's so child-sized. It's... It's just my new. So that's, again, why I hardly ever shop at Amazon because most of the time it's just wasting my money. Um, and as I'm starting off in this business, I mean, I've been doing it for five years. This month, by the way, five years I've been doing it on the 
3rd of this month will be my anniversary for five years of doing the, doing BBW stuff, SSBBW stuff. Um, so yeah, if you want to give me, you already guys already know, you guys can give me. Um, but uh, yeah, no, so within all that time, um, the money I have spent on clothes, most of it isn't bad. But there is some places that have really, really actually gave me good clothes, the woman within, and da, 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 da. I don't know if I can really talk about it, um, but I am anyway, so. <laughs> There's a, <clears throat> a lot of good places that I buy stuff from. People say all the time, how come I don't wear more makeup? I have on occasions worn makeup, but I don't feel like myself when I wear makeup. When I was younger, and I was a big girl when I was younger, <laughs> I had Graves' disease when I was younger, so I was about uh, 10 years old, 300 pounds, 5'2", hugely gorged, and people made a whole bunch of fun of me, so I used to paint my face, like, severely. Don't do that no more because of that. It's a big thing now. Ooh, candy man, candy man. Did you bring anything good? Yay! Did you get juice too? Thanks. Thank you. Can you put this back in my wallet? Oh. Thank you. So that's why I don't want to go. Because the more I got comfortable with myself, the less I wanted to pretend to be somebody else. And it, honestly, it worked out really good because I'm super happy about it. And I'm super, super comfortable with my skin. As you can see, I have some blemishes. This is a birthmark. Um, I still got, like, grimaces, but I'm chunky anyway, so that's how it is. But I'm very content with my skin. I'm very happy, by the way. More food. Um, I have a question here from B Red, who's, like, one of the coolest people I know. I've already mentioned him before in a video, but yeah, he's cool. Sorry, he asked me this like 30 minutes ago. I literally talked to him like, a shitload throughout that. So, <clears throat> I think I just swallowed a chip almost whole. Holy crap! That went down a little weird. Okay, so he asked me, "Have I ever measured myself, my my ass going bigger and bigger and bigger?" I've never done that. Um. I know a lot of people think that, like, um, everybody like me, and I don't know if some girls do, and if you do, I have no problem with you, don't, don't get me wrong, but not everybody does, like, um, a lot of people think that we're all kind of the same, and we all kind of do the same things, but we really don't, but no, I've never, I never, it never even crossed my mind, I just, like, live my life, like, whatever, you know? What do you think of the life of being the SSBBW? Um, me, I always thought they was the most beautiful girl in the world. And maybe that makes me weird. I don't know, some standards, whatever. But I always think they was really beautiful. I had this Aunt Melanie. She was about 700 pounds. And she literally could do the same things other people do. She made clothes for us because we was very poor when I was younger. All of us was very poor. And she used to make clothes by herself through a sewing machine for, like, us. And it was, like, it wasn't in style clothes, but it made you feel cute. And because she made it at home, it was tailored to each one of our bodies. And she used to make her own clothes. And she used to tailor these fabulous little moves and fabulous 
gorgeous clothing. Um, unfortunately, she's not here with us today. Um, but start with she was. Oh, I wouldn't need to shop nowhere else. I would literally just shop at hers. Her stuff and her stuff alone because it was tailored for the individual person who bought them. That's why it wasn't very mainstream because she she wanted to put love into every clothing she made and she was really good at it and it made people feel really beautiful. So I always admired her because not only was she big, she was amazing. And so I feel like being a, a girl myself, I try to keep it honest. I try to keep it real. You know, I, I do everything like she would have done. And because we're kind of the same person, so no, like not the same person, but you're the same personality. Um, but the, I just like being me. And if that makes me an SSBBW, that makes me... Canteen Supreme. Somebody called me something else the other day. I think it was here on YouTube. I'm not sure, but it was like a, a W, I don't remember. It was like W, SSBBW, or, you know, uh, SSSBBW. I don't remember what it was. But it was like a super, super big, 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 big one. Um, whatever that is, like, if somebody knows what that is, leave a comment below because I can't remember what the heck it's called. It's one of the new titles, you know. They're always adding more titles and into um, the genres. I just really don't care to be titled. If I'm an SS BBW, I'm an SS BBW. I don't mind it. I live with it proudly. Thank you, SS BBWs. Um, I just like being me, and I'm, I'm happy. So I like living this life. Somebody else asked me about my hair. Now, people will know if you follow me, I have a really problem growing hair. I am <laughs> like... Honestly, my hair was, like, cut on the side because I, I couldn't grow any. And it was, like, maybe that that long. It was, like, that for, like, four years. So I shaved it, like, a fade on the side. And then I was just growing some on the top. And I just had to, like, fade it out on the side all the way around because I couldn't grow any. And I had, like, a balding spot up here. As you can still see, it's still balding, but it's gotten really better. So somebody asked me, how did I get my hair like this? It is not fake at all. And this is growing out so much because it was literally just bald. Like, it was bald around here. And then I just had this covering it up, this little space right here of hair covering that bald. So I always had hair ties like this. So all my hair could cover it. It was horrible. But I've been using... For, I think like, I want to say five months, six months, I've been using rice, rice water. And yeah, you guys are right, my hair has completely grown. And this is with no weaves. I used to have um, put wigs on. So this is no wigs or weaves. So it's complete hair. And it has grown a lot with the thing, as you could tell, I'm actually getting hair now in these areas. So it does really work. Um, so that's pretty much my, how I grew my hair so well. And look at my sides are actually there. So I actually get good. I had a haircut a couple of days ago. My hair was longer than this. My hair was, um, you can't see it, but it was like all the way down here. And I got all that cut off because my hair has grown dramatically. And I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to continue using rice water because I, I get to do this. All the time. <laughs> but yeah, anybody see my stuff? Um, like I said, I started using them like five months ago. And even with my older pictures, and you guys can tell on the squashing videos and stuff, I have hair extensions in. Um, I was doing a video uh, for Steve one time with um, AJ, and one of my extensions pulled out. Oh, it was so horrible. I fell and had an accident. I went to jump on him, but when I jumped on him, I did kind of cockeyed, and he rolled, and I rolled, and I hit the thing, and it pulled out one of them. So, <laughs> but I don't know. So you guys have to see the video from Fulbright Production. Um, gotta love Steve. He's an amazing person. So also, sorry, I'm looking at my, my little thing right here. I had a question as... Oh, somebody who was a, a big girl asked, why do big women like us 
pee everywhere when we sit. Hmm. I have the pro I used to have a problem with that. The thing is, if you watched any of my videos, you'll know my thighs are massive. And I got this little layer of fat right between my thighs from the fatness of my thighs. So when I go pee, I always make sure to spread that fat leg and make sure it's on both sides of the toilet seats when I sit down because if not, it's it's literally just going to ride that fat right out there under the cooch and just go everywhere. It's really weird. I know it's horrible to say, but it is what happened and there's nothing you could do about it. Um, that's pretty much it. The only other question that I haven't answered and I wanted to put on this video. What's your favorite thing in the world? Googie. It's meat. 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 Um, I'm a huge meat eater. I really, and I, it's not that I hate vegetarians, I just can't see myself as a vegetarian. Never have a meat, ever. Uh-uh. Never in my life. Unless I'm eating chips. Of course. Or candy. Mm. Many, many, many kinds of candy. Um... Okay. What is my flaw that I have? Okay. For me, I think the only flaw I have is I don't like my ass so well. It's the one thing that I do um, want to work on and work out a lot. Because I don't know why I think everybody, especially when you're big, you can shape your body well. And if you're skinny, you gotta go fat, and then you can shape. Or everything's just gonna be so muscular, cause you're just shaping. It's gonna be super muscular. It isn't really gonna go so well. However, if you're fat and you start toning down stuff, it's always the way to go. But yeah, I think the only thing I need to work on is my ass. The only problem is I'm too lazy to actually do the squats and everything else. I'm too lazy for that, so yeah, whatever. Sooner, later, another way. Favorite food in the world? How could you ask me to pick one food? That's just not right. Um, favorite food? I think I would have to say pizza because pizza is the one type of food you can make a million ways and it's always different. Like, you can put cheese and sausage, cheese and biscuits. Um, my nephew, one time for my birthday, he made me a fat girl pizza. He's so cute. I love him. He put pineapples. He put, he put five different types of beef. I didn't even know they had five different types. But I put it in there. Or five different grades, maybe. I don't, I don't know. But it tastes good. Of um, beef in there. Pepperoni. And then he put sausages, he put anchovies, he put cauliflower, he put honey, he put pineapples. <coughs> Everybody knows I'm a huge pickle fan. So he put like a jar of pickles, cut them up, and put it in there. That is the one thing you get me. I'm like an addicted pickle eater, just like I'm addicted to pizza. Pickles and pizza and pepperoni. Pickles, pizza, and pepperoni is like my go to. Love it. Um, but anyway, there's just like a whole bunch of stuff from now. And it came out so cheesy. Oh, amazing. There's just so many ways you can do pizza. It's very fusionized. Um, you can do anything with it. Love it. And there's no way you can get bored if you could just keep making different type of pizzas. No way. If you want lasagna, you can make lasagna pizza. Taco pizza. Burger pizza. Pizza pizza. Um, one thing I would recommend, and I just tried out the other day, it was like two days ago, from Nigel. Thank you, by the way, Nigel. He gave me donuts from Pizza Hut. And these donuts had this cream in it. This caramel. Oh, my God. I love it. It's like one thing that I can literally eat and just, I swear to God, if I ate, so, if I ate like three boxes of those, I'd have an orgasm. I swear to God, it's so good. 
But that's pretty much it. Um, I'll save some of these questions for another time because some of them are a little bit more personal. And I don't really want to put personal in general together. So I'll make another video soon with that. Also, I'm taking suggestions and things you want to see on the YouTube channel. On the YouTube channel. Everybody has their opinion, and because you guys are my biggest fans, and you guys are my support, um, anytime you guys have, if I want to just know what kind of things you guys want to have, that has to be approved for YouTube, by the way. Somebody told me to go poop in the camera. I'm not pooping in the camera. That video would be taken down in like five seconds. Well, I'm not doing that. But I'm going to leave it here at 20 minutes, and I can't wait for your comments below. I answer all of them. But sometimes it takes me a little bit longer um, this week, past time, this past week. I haven't put anything out, and I apologize. I had an infection in my kidneys, and I needed to take care of that before I was able to do anything else. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate my fluffy friends, you. But, <laughs> but I just had to take care of myself first, and I think that's, like, the biggest thing. And why do I sell this shit? Well... See you in my next video. Message me anytime. Later.